life and death are happening all at once. They coexist inseparably in every breath. Life and death are just one process. Unfortunately, modern societies are trying to look at life as they know it, as the only possibility. Death is something that you must always avoid. Yes, it is true, because what we call as life, as it is, is a very limited process of time. Because we are alive for a very small amount of time, <laughs> but we are dead for a very long period of time. Considering this, yes, our focus and priority is about life process, but nobody can conduct this life process ignoring the process of death which is also happening right now. From the moment we are born, the process of death also is on. One day the process will be complete. If we ignore that, we cannot live well. It is only when we recognize that we are mortal creatures, it is only when we recognize that we are on a limited lease of time, will we put this life process, this limited amount of time and energy that we have to its best possibility. It is very important that every human being within himself or herself confronts this fundamental dimension of who we are, that we are mortal in nature. This is not something that you once in a way remember and be paranoid about. This is something that you need to be consciously aware of. If you're aware of this, every moment of life that you have, which is a very limited piece of time, you would see that the maximum of life happens to you because in terms of life, the only thing that we have is the profoundness of our experience. If you are conscious that you are mortal, the profoundness of your experience will be greatly enhanced because you will value every moment of your existence here. And this will also give you the ability, when it is time, to move out gracefully. This is something that every human being should look at. Accepting one dimension of life and trying to reject the other will create a very lopsided, skewed life process. It is time we look at both as one and see how one complements the other. The value of our life is only because we are mortal, because there is something called as death, because it's limited. If you had a limitless amount of life, <laughs> I'm telling you, nothing in your life would be valuable. So, let us appreciate this possibility, this dimension that life and death are one package. You cannot separate them. In embracing both as one, we will live and live totally. <laughs>